Hello, this is Math Jazz from Almost Cool. I am here getting sand and uh, some iron because it's opportunistically placed. And we're going to use it to make concrete powder so that we can make the uh, concrete blocks on Yehewan. Oh, and by the way, I am with a mathematician. He is back at the Yehewan build site while I am busy mining. Mm hmm. I love this shovel, just so you know. <laughs> I think I mentioned that last episode. But it is a wonderful shovel. Oh, so here's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, remember... How I was talking about um, homomorphisms from the Bearish Becker group to itself. Uh huh. Okay, so like, here's the thing. Even though there's no smallest spanning set, so there's no basis, right? Okay. There still are spanning sets, right? Yeah. And there are spanning sets that include the uh, spanning sets that include the um, the EIs from uh, mm -hmm. from the, the what's it called the, the, the product no no the the sum of Z's sum, sum yeah am I walking product, the wrong way um, my idea where are you really you're really up there e what where sorry I was trying to walk back and I forgot where the build site was. So I got a bunch of sand. Cool. Good. Okay, um, so so if you have one of these spanning sets, can't you like send all of the these elements in the spanning set to themselves, except one. Send that to like twice itself. And I, I know, like, um, you have to check to make sure what you get is still a homomorphism, but couldn't we just like start from this and then show that it could be a homomorphism? Um, but you're trying to make one that hits the EI without being on to? Correct. Because I think, I think that the conjecture is false. Um, your argument sounds like it might work if you could have a minimal spanning set. So then you argue that, oh, see, look, this one is gone now, right? Yes. But But... So, for example, let's send all of the EIs to themselves. And then let's mm -hmm. send the repeating one element to the repeating two element. Mm -hmm. And, like, since we don't yet have um, a spanning set, like, shouldn't we... I just, but I think you, that it should you, be legal to do that. Up to that point, yes. The problem is, um, how do you know that, like, no, no other combination of things in your spanning set image is going to go to that one, 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 one? Well, so far, um, it can't go to one 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 because uh, I only took things that were in the sum of Z's and they're the sum of Z's is closed under multiplication in uh, the Bear Specker group, isn't it? You know, yeah, the ones you've given so far. What I mean is the 
in order to expand it to a spanning set, mm -hmm. um, I don't think there like any spanning set that you have has a re has relations on it. There, like there's no there's no independent spanning set for the bear specter group. And so I don't know how you make sure. Uh, and no and other and you know, you that you just dodged. Our our advisor said that, but I guess I just haven't looked at the bear specter group enough to know why are there relations? Like, why is it that there have to be relations on a set that spans? I forget the specifics, but it's some sort of cardinality argument. Hmm. Um, oh no, it's because it's not free. If yeah. you had a spanning set with no relations, it would be a free group, and the bear specker group is not a free group. Okay, so why is the bear specker group not a free group? That is a better question. <laughs> I got nothing for you. Sorry. Huh. Hey, do we have any more um, lapis or a way to make more cyan dye? Um. Oh, so all of these windows get filled in, right? Yeah, we had just enough cyan um, dye like in a chest to make those, but I don't know if we have any more lapis to make more cyan dye to make more glass of that color. Uh, lapis is easy to find. We can go take a mining trip if we need to. Yeah, I was just wondering if we had... Ooh, we have, we have some. Do you mind if I use it? I do not mind. Okay. Good. It is here for building. Good, 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 good. Oh, a other thought. Man, no, it, it needs to be a glass block, doesn't it? Um, I am unsure where where you're talking about, but these these um these colored cyan blocks, glass blocks. If I tried replacing it with a glass pane, it would be it would be that like. Oh crap! What's the word? Offset? And it wouldn't look as good. I think. Yeah. Okay. I was just in my head trying to figure out if I could get away with using, like, cyan glass panes. Are those even a thing? I I don't know. Um. They are! You can make cyan stained glass paint. Do you have to first stain the glass? Or um, do you have to first make the pain? You stain the glass first. And then you turn six blocks into sixteen panes. So that would have been very useful at Notre Dame. That's true. But for this build, you just, yeah, like I said, if we switch to a pain, then it would be offset and it would not look as good. So, blocks it is. Oh well. The green there. I made a whole bunch of white concrete. Probably more than we need for this building. Okay. Well, we have a third floor that does the same pattern. It takes um, 100 of those per floor. 
100 concrete. Yep. I'm going to fill this in with dirt just so the water doesn't flow everywhere. Good plan. So I bet I killed some torches just a moment ago. Yep. Well, just wash them away. They're still alive. I prefer to think of torch items as being ghosts of torch blocks. Okay. But isn't it like if you put a water source on a torch or something dumb like that, then it vanishes? I don't know. Am I misremembering? I like these concrete blocks. They're very nice. I'm, I'm glad that whoever's idea it was, Adam had the idea. I just think it's neat having some alternative method of building, you know? Mm hmm Oh, hey, guess what? What? I, I realized it just in time. This floor doesn't actually use any cyan glass. Oh, neat. Glad I realized that before I went to make it all. <laughs> um, or at least it doesn't have it in the blueprint. But we could add it quite easily. What do you think? I'll come down and take a look. Okay. Once I first? get the rest of this... Uh... Oh, it's fine. I haven't actually made anything to look at. Just a... What's that called? Gedanken experiment right now? Yes! You are speaking German. So, on the first floor, the pattern is... If you're in, this, if you're in the very center, you see cyan glass at, next to the cyan beams um, in the four cardinal directions. And then if you're in the hallway, what you'll see are is green stained glass in the four diagonal directions at the le level of the green beams. And you can't see the cyan glass at all. So, unless you're opposed, I say we replicate that on the other floors. I think it's kind of nice. The alternative being, on the next floor, you would only see green glass um, when you ran around the outside. You wouldn't see anything interesting from the inside. Okay. You have them up here? Sorry. I know that you were being very detailed with your explanation, and I didn't hear any of it because I was placing the column blocks down. Are you gone? Mr. Math Magician, are you there? Hello? Can you hear me?
Okay, so while the myth magician is trying to come back, um, let's see. Why would trying to miss an element not work without a basis? Hmm. So, not having a basis means that every spanning set can have an element removed and still spam. Maybe not every element? Is that how that works? No, it's got to be that the removal of a single element does not change the fact that we span. Okay. So... If we have a set that spans, which um, in the image, removing one element from the image does not change that we spanned. Oh, that's that's weird. Weird stuff. Okay, the columns are now up to the top. So I'm going to need to get some cyan and green, and I will put my concrete away. Do I need red? No, I need green. So I guess that this proves that I can read a diagram because I do not have the mathematician to help me to understand the diagram. I have to go through and clear out all of the snow. I'm going to use an emoticon there, because I am truly sad that our mathematician can't join us anymore. Well, but I guess it is time to wrap up, and uh, by next time we might have some uh, fix for the mathematician's microphone. So, see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> okay. See you next week or uh, next time. Bye.